For today's video, we are going to talk about how to solve problems involving fractions and we are going to explain everything in details. On the first example, it took Juliana 6 hours on the first day, 5 hours the second day, and 3 hours the third day to finish typing her term paper in business mathematics. How long did Juliana work? Express it as a fraction of 24 hours day. To determine the number of hours she worked to finish her term paper in business mathematics, let us simply add the number of hours she worked each day and let us express the number of hours as a fraction of 24 hours a day. On the first day, Juliana took 6 hours and that is 6 over 24. On the second day, that is 5 over 24. And on the third day, that is 3 over 24. If we are going to add fraction with the same denominator, let us simply copy the denominator and let us add the numerator. That is 6 plus 5 plus 3 and that is 14 over 24. 14 over 24 can be written in simplest form because they are divisible by 2. So 14 becomes 7 and 24 becomes 12. So the number of hours she worked to finish certain paper in business mathematics that is 7 over 12 of a day. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, Robert carries 5 and 1 fourth kilograms of rice and 3 and 1 third kilograms of fish. How many kilograms of items does Robert carries? To determine the total kilograms of items he carries, all we have to do is to add the kilograms of rice and kilograms of fish. So let us have 5 and 1 fourth plus 3 and 1 third. So to add this one, let us have 5 plus 3 and then we have 1 fourth plus 1 third. 5 plus 3, that is 8 and then... We have 1 fourth plus 1 third. Since we are adding fraction with different denominator, all we have to do is to find the LCM. The LCM of 4 and 3, that is 12. And then 12 divided by 4, that is 3. Multiply by 1. And then we have 12 divided by 3, that is 4 times 1. So let us simplify. Let us write 8 plus 3 times 1, that is 3. And 4 times 1 is 4. And then we have here, 8 plus 3 plus 4, that is 7 over 12. And 8 plus 7 over 12, that is 8. And 7 over 12 kilograms of items. So this will be our answer. On example number 3, Kathy bought a ribbon that is 3 and 1 fourth meters long. She need to cut from it a piece measuring 5 over 4 meters. How long is the remaining parts? So let me show you two different solutions on how we can determine the remaining parts of the ribbon. The first one, let us have 3 and 1 fourth minus 5 over 4. So let us convert the mixed number into improper fraction. Let us have 4 times 3, that is 12, plus 1, that is 13 over 4 minus 5 over 4. Since we have the same denominator, let us simply copy the denominator and let us subtract the numerator that is 13 minus 5. 13 minus 5, that is 8. And then we have 4. 8 divided by 4, that is 2. So the remaining parts of the ribbon, that is 2 meters. And this will be our answer. So the next solution that I'm going to show you, since 5 over 4, is a improper fraction if we are going to convert this one into mixed number that is 1 and 1 fourth. So let us have 3 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 1 fourth. So let us have 3 minus 1 and then let us have 1 fourth minus 1 fourth. So we are going to cancel this one. It will give us 3 minus 1 that is 2 meters. So we come up with the same answer. On example number 4, Mrs. De Mesa bought 6 and 1 third kilograms of meat. She used 2 and 1 fourth kilograms for a frittata, 2 and 1 over 8 kilograms for menudo, and the rest for adobo. How many kilograms of meat did she use for adobo? 
To determine the number of kilograms of meat she used for adobo, let us add first the number of kilograms she used for apretada and menudo and subtract it from the total number of kilograms of meat she bought. So let us have first 2 and 1 fourth plus 2 and 1 over 8. So let us have 2 plus 2, that is 4. And then let us have 1 fourth plus 1 over 8. So let us rewrite 4 and let us have 1 fourth plus 1 over 8. Since we are adding fraction with different denominator, let us find the LCM of 4 and 8, that is 8. 8 divided by 4, that is 2, times 1. And then, 8 divided by 8, that is 1, times 1. So let us have 4 plus 2 multiplied by 1, that is 2. 1 times 1 is 1, all over 8. So let us have 2 plus 1, that is 3. And then we have 8, so we are going to have 4 and 3 over 8 kilograms. So this is the total number of kilograms she used for apretada and menudo. And then, let us subtract this one. Let us have 6 and 1 third minus 4 and 3 over 8. So let us convert 6 and 1 third and 4 and 3 over 8 into improper fraction. 3 multiplied by 6, that is 18, plus 1, that is 19. And let us write the denominator. And then, 8 multiplied by 4, that is 32, plus 3, that is 35, over 8. Since we are subtracting fraction with different denominator, let us find the LCM of 3 and 8, that is 24. 24 divided by 3, that is 8, times 19. And then, 24 divided by 8, that is 3, times 35. 8 multiplied by 19, that is 100. 52. 3 multiplied by 35, that is 105. And then let us write the denominator. And then 152 minus 105, that is 47 over 24. 47 divided by 24, that is 1. And we have a remainder of 23 and then 24. So this is the total number of kilograms she used for adobo. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, a cookie sheet is 12 and 3 4 inches long and 8 and 1 4 inches wide. What is the area of the cookie sheet? To determine the area of the cookie sheet, let us illustrate first our problem. So let us have a rectangle. So this will be the length, which is 12 and 3 4 inches. And this will be our width, that is 8 and 1 4 inches. And to find the area, let us use the formula, area equals length times width. So let us have the length, that is 12 and 3 fourth, multiply by width, that is 8 and 1 fourth. So let us convert this one into improper fraction. So let us have 12 multiplied by 4, that is 48 plus 3, that is 51 over 4. And then, 4 multiplied by 8, that is 32 plus 1, that is 33 over 4. So to simplify this one, let us simply multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. So let us have 51 multiplied by 33. 3 times 1, that is 3. And 3 times 5 is 15. And then let us have 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 times 5 is 15. So let us add, let us have 3. 5 plus 3, that is 8. And then 1 plus 5, that is 16, and let, let us have 1. So 51 times 33, that is 1,683. And 4 times 4, that is 16. So if you are going to divide this one, let us have 1,683 divided by 16. 16 divided by 16 is 1. 1 times 16 is 16. And 16 minus 16, that is 0. So we are going to cancel this one. Let us bring down 8. 8 divided by 16, that is 0. 0 times 16 is 0. 8 minus 0 is 8. Let us bring down 3. 83 divided by 16 is 5. And 5 times 16, that is 80. And we have a remainder of 3. So therefore, 1,683 divided by 16, that is 105. And 3 over 16 
square inches. So this will be the area of our cookie sheet and this will be our answer. For example number 6, Joel earns 100,000 pesos a year if he spend 1 over 5 for food, 1 over 8 for rent, 1 over 10 for clothing, and 1 over 20 for recreation. On letter A, how much does he spend for each? Letter B, how much is his total expenses? Letter C, how much does he save? And letter D, what fractional part of his earning in his savings? So let us find first the amount he spent for food, rent, clothing, and recreation. So let us have letter A. So let us have 100,000 multiplied by 1 over 5. That is the amount he spent for food. So 100,000 multiplied by 1 is 100,000 divided by 5. Then that is 20,000 pesos for food. And then let us have 100,000 multiplied by 1 over 8. That is the amount he spent for rent. So 100,000 times 1 is 100,000 divided by 8. That is 12,500. And this is for rent. And then 100,000 multiplied by 1 over 10. And that is 10,000. So this is the amount he spent for clothing. And then let us have 100,000 times 1 over 20. And that is 5,000 pesos. And this is the amount he spent for recreation. And then on letter B, how much is his total expenses? So for food, that is 20,000. And then for rent, that is 12,500. And then for clothing, that is 10,000. And for recreation, that is 5,000. So if we are going to add this one, we are going to have 0, 0, and then 5. And then we are going to have 7, and then 4. So the total amount he spends for food, rent, clothing, and recreation, that is 47,000. 500. Now, on letter C, how much does he save? So, let us subtract 100,000 minus 47,500 and that is 52,500. So, this is the amount he saved and this is the amount he spent. And on letter D, what fractional part of his earning in his savings? Since he saves 52,500 over the total amount he earned for a year, let us cancel 0, and that is 525 over 1,000. 525 and 1,000 are divisible by 25. 525 divided by 25, that is 21. 1,000 divided by 25, that is 40. And this will be our answer on letter D. On example number 7, if Ken bought 3 and 3 fourth meters of cable of wire and divided equal meters for the extension of his TV cable for each of the three rooms of his house, how long was each piece? So to determine how long each piece, let us simply divide 3 and 3 fourth meters by 3. So let me show you two different solutions on how we can divide this one. First, let us have 3 and 3 fourth divided by 3. So let us convert this one into improper fraction. 4 multiplied by 3, that is 12, plus 3, that is 15, over 4 divided by 3. If you are going to divide 15 over 4 by 3, you are going to multiply 4 by 3. Or if you want, you can get the reciprocal of 3 and proceed to multiplication that is 15 over 4 multiplied by 1 third. So if you are going to divide, let us have 15 and then 4 times 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, so 15 becomes 5 and 3 becomes 1. So let us have 5 and then over 
4. 5 over 4, that is 1 and 1 fourth meters. And this will be our answer. But if you are going to multiply 15 over 4 times 1 third, you simply multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. 15 times 1, that is 15. And then 4 times 3, I'm going to write in this one because we can cancel 15 and 3. 15 divided by 3, that is 5. And 3 becomes 1. So this is 5 over 4. That is same as 1 and 1 fourth meters. And this will be our answer. On our last example, Enrique spends two-fifth of his monthly salary, saves one-third of the remainder, and shares the rest equally to his two sisters and a brother. If his monthly salary is 60,000 pesos, how much does he give to his brother every month? To determine how much he gives to his brother every month, let us determine first how much Enrique spends every month. Since the monthly salary of Enrique, that is 60,000 pesos, so let us have 60,000 pesos multiplied by 2 fifth, and that is 120,000 pesos divided by 5, it will give us 24,000 pesos. So this is the amount he spends every month. And then, let us find the remaining amount, and that is 60,000 pesos minus 24,000 pesos, and that is 36,000 pesos. So this is the remaining amount. And then, let us find one-third of the remaining amount. So this is 36,000 pesos. Multiply by one third, and that is 12,000 pesos. So, this is the amount he saves every month. And then, let us find 36,000 pesos minus 12,000 pesos, and that is 24,000 pesos. So, this is the amount he shares. To his two sisters and a brother. So to determine how much he gives to his brother every month, let us divide 24,000 by 3. This is 24,000 divided by 3 and that is 8,000 pesos. So this is the amount he, give, he gives to his brother every month. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.